multi world champion of this event over the past couple of years, Cameron Meyer. However, we've got the national bronze medalist from the junior under 19 in this field as well, Nick Graham Dawson. Um, and a couple of very good teams, the young Theo Yates riding with Brad Linfield. Um, Trent Derricourt, who we mentioned with Nick Graham Dawson. Favourites for it, of course, will be Travis and Cameron Meyer. Little Jai Henley and Manny Jackson, the youngest team, but very good. And of course, in amongst there, Stephen Hall, Brad Robson will be big favourites as well, replacing. Yeah, yeah, it's Brad Linfield, I mean, Steve Hall, Brad Robson on 55 points, and Stanley Lithia, yeah, it's Brad Linfield on 65. Trent Derricourt and Nick Graham Dawson on 25. Nathan Lyons and Luke Fittler on 15 and the Bike Horse Woodvale team and the Northern District Cycling Club team on 10 points. So we're underway. In a small field, but it'll definitely be an exciting race. Okay, for those who are not educated to it, we are going to attempt on the microphones to try and keep you intact, because for those who've never seen this before, the way this works is one partner is alive at all times in the field, and the other rider swings off and it changes by Madison changes or hand swings as you'll start to see now so confusion can be when you see well, who's in and who's out and we're going to try and present that to you one team I didn't mention in the intro but Luke Bittler riding with Nathan Lyons the young under 19 team very strong winner racing team and they're leading the group you'll see them come in for a change right now and the key part is when they hand sling like that is to make sure you're running around the change and you don't ride into the back of it because it gets real messy when you do. Current Madison conditions is the sprints are on every 20 laps. However, tonight, because we're doing a shorter race, Matty will be doing that every 10, which of course makes things nice and exciting. Certainly will make it nice and exciting. A few boys are feeling themselves out a little bit at the start there. Of course, one or two boys, no matter how much they try and pretend, there'll be an absolute war of being able to race against Cameron and Travis in this situation. Of course, Nathan, with the boys have been training here on a Monday night and uh, behind the motorbike after the final session and each night they've been doing some Madison training. And of course, on Monday night, Daryl, Nathan Lyons was a little bit under the weather, so his partner, Luke Bittler, was able to partner with Cameron Meyer. I don't know if there's too many sports in the world that you turn up to a under 19 state training session, and then go and learn your trade by partnering the best bike rider out there. The gap's starting to open straight away. Not a lot of pace on really, but the gap's opening just the same. Jai Hindley swings up Brad Robson, Brad Linfield, Ed Cameron Meyer, Luke Bittler, Trent Derricourt, all getting it back together. Of course, in these kinds of events, You'll see the better teams just a lot sharper and a lot smoother in their changes. Start of the bike race, that doesn't tend to matter too much, but as the bike race goes on, it starts to get into your legs, it starts to tie you out all that little bit more. So you'll see one or two of the smoother changes there, good change there, Brad Linfield and Theo Yates. You watch the difference in the changes between Travis and Cameron Meyer. And the well as I, Matty, they're in for the sprint, so this is the timing. It seems the organiser up front and they're trying to get their riders in as fresh as possible to the sprint. And right now you can see Travis Meyer challenging Theo Yates and Nathan Lyon stepping out. Look at Stevie Hall around the outside. What's that for a run? Now you can see them sprinting and the key part is get to the line, get the points. Stevie Hall takes that from Travis Meyer. Blanket to finish with the rest. Now straight away the smart riders are looking to get their teammates in real quick. And of course the judgment has to be the speed of these guys come in for the change. So one sprint down, Matt, that was pretty exciting. Certainly very exciting there, and a good change there. For the waste boys, the VA8 the sprinter there, getting out of the way, good change there. Brad Robson now out the front now. Decision time for the arbitrage team. It's fairly obvious that Stevie Hall's got the speed. Brad Robson, the, the man on form in WA at the moment, has he got the strength, but they have to make a decision. Are they going to attack the bike race, or are they going to sit in and sprint? At this stage of the bike race, the way Stevie Hall moved in that first one, the tactic might be just a sprint and wait to see how the race develops. I tell you what, a phenomenal sprint from Stephen Hall there to take the points, but of course, for those who don't know, as we mentioned before, 
that there's a number of riders already have points from the previous event. However, the Madison is primarily a race of laps. So what will happen is any points the riders are carried over from the previous event is that if any rider now takes a lap on the field and or riders, even if they only have the five points which so far has been the minimum score, or 10 points as a team, that would give them a one lap lead and a lead in the bike race. So right now, we can see the guys sorting themselves out, concentrating probably a little more on the sprints right now, but I can guarantee is the calculation of Cam Meyer, as he's done with his world champion partner, Lee Howard. They pick points of the race, and when they let it loose, they let it loose, and let's see who's got the legs throughout this one, Matt. But I'll tell you, the youngster's putting up a very good job. This is doing a very good job. Something to look out for as you go look at the difference in the teams here as the guys go through 64 laps to go. The experienced teams, you'll see the rider coming in will come down nice and close to his partner. You watch the way Cameron Meyer and Travis Meyer do their change. Cameron will come in very close to Travis. A little bit newer to this event, one or two of the young guys, what you'll see is the rider who's about to throw his partner in. He'll have to ride up the track ever so slightly because his partner's not coming in quickly enough or not coming in low enough. You'll see this time, Trent Derricourt throwing in Nick Graham Dawson, no trouble at all. This time, Luke Pittler down the back straight comes in nicely for Nathan Lyons. This time, the Northern Districts team, nice and low, coming in together. Good change there for the lads. This time through the 200 metre mark, you've got Brad Linfield turning the pace on. Nick Graham Dawson going out after him. Brad Robson wants to get back in the fold this time because this time they're coming around to the bell lap. Sprinting now, Linfield's looking for the partner, but he's not set up the sprint. So this gets very costly right now. And he tells him to keep going. So effectively that puts him in the race for about five laps without a hand sling disadvantage. And so a great job for Linfield to get into the top three there. Big win for that arbitrage team again. This time Brad Robson takes a sprint. Travis Meyer very close, just over the top second again. And uh, Brad Linfield third as the moves start to happen right now. This time, Brad Robson looking for a breather. Great riding here by the arbitrage boys. They're going to throw Stevie Hall in. Chance to have a bit of a breather for one or two. Travis Meyer there, Brad Linfield, Trent Derricourt did all the work to come back across. Now Theo Yates looking for his partner. Brad Linfield will be looking for a rest. No matter how strong a bike rider you are in this type of bike race, whether you're Cameron Meyer or whether you're somebody like Theo Yates, you need to change with your partner. You need to keep yourself as fresh as possible as the race goes on. What you don't want to do is you don't want to put your partner into disrepair and make them stay in there for five or six laps because there is no chance to recover in this bike race as the race goes on. Good racing so far, as I said, at this stage. No major attacks on the field, largely looking at the sprints. That often happens in the early phases of Madison racing, but it will be at this stage, I guarantee you, somewhere through this 80 laps, there will be moves underway for these riders to try and gain the lap, certain teams to try and gain the lap and take the bike race. Some teams are noted to be very good sprinters and take a lot of points. Some of the riders who may not be as fast try and be calculated. And I said, in normal Madison conditions now, they've got about 20 laps to sort it out. But in this one, the sprints are coming at them all the time. It's the old style Madison race, and we used to have it every 10 laps. Makes it more exciting and a lot more calculated to set your teammate up for the sprint, Matty. Certainly be looking to set your teammate up for the sprint. One or two boys need to do a little bit more calculation about when to throw the partner in. 54 laps to go this time. Now, the ideal time to throw your partner in for this type of bike race is just as you come into the home straight, you really want your partner to be lurking around the home straight, possibly in the last bend before the home straight to throw them in. The only other time you can really do it is as it straightens up down the back straight, give them that extra slingshot. Now, we go through this time, 53 laps to go. The arbitrage boys are in a good position. However, Brad Robs is going to have to throw Stevie Hall in this time. Stevie Hall is going to come around, get the 52 laps to go, so it's about a lap and a half early to get the real advantage. However, we go to the home straight, look at the man lurking in the middle of the track. Cameron Meyer in second wheel, Travis Meyer, now the move coming from the back. Matty Jackson there gets up around the outside, Travis Meyer fighting through to make sure he can get out of the gap there and change with his brother down the back straight. Second wheel there, Travis Meyer going to get to throw the partner in. This is a good change, the bell goes. And Cameron Meyer gets the 10 yard lead there. Stevie Hall didn't get a throw. He has to come on his own from the back, down the back straight. 
Cameron Meyer, the champion of the world, Stevie Hall, the man on form, underneath the speed dome sign. Cameron Meyer fighting on, Stevie Hall, going to make it three in a row, Darrell, for the Arbitrage team. Three out of three wins to Arbitrage, two, I'm uh, sorry, three out of three second places for the Meyer brothers combination. So at this stage, in uh, this part of the bike race, the points are all going to the Arbitrage boys. Well done to those riders. As you can see, things starting to hot up. And a few of the riders may be getting a bit more calculated and working the homework out to set up that final sprint. A couple of them last time were out of uh, contention by the fact they didn't get the changes right. This time the organised ones have put the pressure on. And look at young Brad Linfield on the hop. Brad Linfield turning a face on. One or two slow changes in the back of the group there. One or two boys are going to have to use a lot of energy to get back in this bike race. As the pace is on, Travis Meyer, Trent Derricourt, Brad Linfield, Brad Robson, Matty Jackson, that's the group. Nathan Lyons fighting to get back on there. Into the back straight, nice smooth change there for the Meyer brothers, the waste team, was well and truly. Stevie Hall back into the fold there from Brad Robson. Now second wheel, Nick Graham Dawson goes in. Trent Derricourt closing forward, 46 laps to go. So for those wondering, they're travelling there up at about 53, 54 k an hour in speed. So it is quick and they're sprinting up to around 65 kilometres an hour in these races. So the pace is right up. Let's give the teams behind some encouragement. Their new teams getting together. Luke Fittler with Nathan Lyons there. Blake Smith changing with Tim Seller. Give them some encouragement because right now that rubber band's getting stretched big time and we're looking to come in for the next sprint over the next four laps. Jai Hindley leads through for the bike force from Woodvale Colours. Good ride here by Jai. Theo Yates looking for his partner, Brad Linfield. A little bit late on the change with Brad, but he's in now. Great throw there by Theo Yates, and away goes Bradley Linfield. They know they need to get some distance between them and the other two teams. The arbitrage and the Garmin Cervelo team. Stevie Hall now looks for Brad Robson. Brad Robson's right there and waiting. Up around the outside is Travis Meyer. Nice and cagey piece of bike riding there by Travis Meyer. Brad Robson doing all the work, chasing once again Trent Derricourt there. This time the bike horse would fail boys. Looking for a fast change, Matty Jackson. Looking for his partner this time, 42 laps to go. They're going to come round to the sprint this time. Second wheel again in this stage. Travis Meyer going to throw the brother in again. Chasing out after Brad Linfield and Theo Yates. This is a good change for Theo Yates. Brad Robson up in the second wheel. Where's Stevie Hall? He's in the back straight. Brad Robson's going to have to do it by himself this time. He's run out of legs a little bit. Going to be looking for Steve Hall as much as he can. Looking back at the sprint though, here comes the world champion. Cameron Meyer up against him. Theo Yates as they go to the line. Theo fights back on the inside. Great ride by Theo Yates. We'll leave that to the judges. I think young Theo might have gotten there. Now Brad Robson the legs are falling off a little bit, Darrell, as he throws in his part of the Stevie Hall. Yep, it's about economics. And at this stage, the back end of the bike race counts. And they've got four sprints out the way. The world champion team with Cameron Meyer have run unofficially second in four sprints. If they ran second, then and Yates held on. You see Yates has been out for a long time there now. Now looks for his partner. And you can't leave your partner out there a long time. Sprints. And this is how bike races get split up. You can see right now some big pain look faces right now as the Meyer brothers get on the attack. Linfield going with them, that's a good chase. Nick Graham Dawson looking for Trent Derrick, Gordon Stevie Hall and Brad Robson have got to get back into business. Jai Hindley chasing well, looking for his partner and it's game on Matty in this one. Good ride by Stevie Hall to put his team back in the bike race there. We had to do a very big effort to do it. Trent Derricourt now chasing Brad Robson trying to get on the wheel. And once again, the Waste Boys showing their class as they go with the best team in the world. The uh, Yates being thrown in by Brad Linfield. They did a great ride here last week in the team's event. Look at this. Cameron Meyer swings up. The uh, Yates says, OK, I'll go through. They're going to come through. 35 laps to go with halfway in the bike race. Brad Robson, Trent Derricourt catching breath as best they can. Look at the front of the bike race. Uh, Cameron Meyer, Theo uh, Yates, a young man doing a fantastic Right, incidentally, by the calendar year, Theo Yates, still an under-17 cyclist, up into the under-19s division, but technically not an under-19 until January 1st, and here he is, going with the best team in the world. A lap taken on Luke Bittler and 
Nathan Lyons' team and also Blake Smith and Tim Seller. So two teams have got up there. And you can see now the desperate chasing of Steve Ball and Nick Graham Dawson for their respective teams trying to get back on terms. They're on the same laps but currently holding down the third and fourth in distance because it's Brad Linfield and Travis Meyer about to change with brother Cameron into the play as they get 32 laps to go. So who's set up for the sprints? And to be perfectly honest, I think for the change this time, it may be Theo Yates, although he's still in the home straight and they're coming up to the bell. So maybe it could be no Travis even further back. So Meyer, the strength of him with Linfield too. Magnificent endurance athletes, one younger and one worldly experienced world champion man. So the young man throw it in now with Theo Yates. I think he'll just roll, he'll just roll up onto the wheel of camera Meyer. He's trying to catch his breath, but look at Theo Yates. He saw a finish line, and that's what Theo Yates does when he sees one. Goes through, takes another five points, but wait for the attack, because here it comes, down the back straight, Travis Meyer and Cameron Meyer. Come on, guys, you can do better than that. That was a 16-year-old just won that sprint over a world champion. Theo Yates riding with Brad Linfield. One of them 16, the other 17 years old. And look at the job by Matty Jackson. He's 14 years old. His partner is just turned 15, so a magnificent job from the youngsters there to get in contention as well. They're down a bit, but they're trying hard, and Linfield about to go into the change as Theo Yates is certainly doing well. They've got good points in the bike race, Matt, so the world champion team, they're under a lot of pressure. They're under a lot of pressure here. The damage control for the arbitrage boys, also the team of Nick Graham Dawson and Trent Derricourt. They still haven't lost a lap. They've nowhere near lost a lap, but there's damage control. They have to try and keep this group as close as they possibly can. Nick Graham Dawson usually riding the arbitrage colours back here with his teammate Stevie Hall. As they go down the back straight, we turn our attention back into the home straight. Cameron Meyer, Brad Linfield, Matty Jack, uh, Jai Hindley this time rather, in the bike horse and Woodvale colours. Yes, here they go. Give this group plenty of encouragement. They're digging deep. And the youngsters of Tim Seller, Blake Smith not giving up. It's good to see Derek Moore changing now from Nick Graham Dawson. Stephen Hall looking for Brad Robson. Nathan Lyons is hurting big time. Luke Bibbers up the road. Right now, these three are out front. If any rider goes down on that, they rejoin the, the points count. So Jai Hindley at this stage with Matty Jackson about to do their change with Theo Yates and also there Travis Meyer. So these guys are lighting it up. And I said the two younger guys in the field are going toe-to-toe -to -toe at the moment and this is an exciting bike race, Matty. Yeah, the back's great. Theo Yates are impressive with the way Theo's fought on in this last few laps. He was very much looking to catch a breather and got involved in that sprint and took the five points. Now he's looking for Brad Linfield. Linfield comes in. Theo Yates looking for a bit of a rest. Good changing here. Now this is intelligent bike riding by the West Australian Institute of Sport team. They're staying with the world champion pairing. This is what you need to do in this type of bike race. You need to stay near the strongest team on the track. You need to come in and go out with them in their changes. This is a very good ride by this race pairing to be going with these guys just for the experience of this type of racing. DAH and Brad Linfield will be taking part in the under 19 Madison Championship in December and they're doing a very good job here, Darrell, as we go to the next sprint. Yep, and leaving it out, they've gone down a lap, but they're contesting on points now. Jai Henley with Matty Jackson, and then it's Brad Linfield. He's sprinting with Cameron Meyer. That's the front of the bike race overall. They've got riders in the way for the sprint as well. So they're going to get messy in the home straight. And you can see there that it's uh, Jai Hindley will get the five points from Cameron Meyer three, and then Brad Linfield with Theo Yates on the two points. Stevie Hall is next through gets the one point for fourth and Derek Court digging deep now for change from Nick Graham Dawson looking to get a cross map. Looking to get a cross but good ride once again from the Waste Boys there. I thought they were going to get a little bit tangled up and miss their change. They certainly didn't miss their change and what an important change it was. The A8s in there now with Travis Meyer. We look around the track, Luke Fiddler getting thrown in by Nathan Lyons, Trent Derek Court, Brad Robson still trying to damage control this bike race. They still haven't gone down the lap fighting on nicely. Can they stay on the same lap as the race goes on? Give them a round of applause. Brad Robson, Trent Derricourt. So we go back through the field. Here's the leaders coming through this time. A nice change from Travis and Cam. Bit of a chat there. Theo Yates doing everything he needs to do to throw Brad Linfield into the mix. 17 laps left to run in the bike race. How about them youngsters too? They've gone down one lap. They're now staying with the Matty Jackson. 
Jai Hindley, and then you've got the chasers now, Stephen Hall and Brad Robson, desperate to stay on the same lap because they've got good points, and if they stay on the same lap, that works to their benefit. However, right now, Cameron Meyer is looking to try and get that lap in, and at this stage, the waste boys of Brad Linfield, Theo Yates, situated very, very nicely in this bike race for overall honours. Overall, there's only 15 laps to go, two sprints to be taken on. Is there going to be that explosion of an attack from the Meyer team? If they're going to do it, they're going to have to do it soon as they come through now. 14 laps to go. And the way Theo Yates is pedalling there, he's loving the fact that everyone's on the restricted gear of 90 tonight. This is no trouble at all for someone like Theo Yates. And of course, he's got one of the strongest roadies in Australia in Brad Linfield supporting him here. Theo's doing a beautiful job here as they come through now. Jai Henley looking for his partner in Matty Jackson. 13 laps to go for the leaders of the bike race and they are combining very well. Good to see Matt Jackson in amongst that action too with his partner Jai Henley. As now you can see the concern will be about the second last sprint. And if any riders go down a lap, they can contest and back in for the points, but they're down one lap. So Travis Meyer lining it up, sees his brother, watch the efficiency of the change. Nathan Lyons there is next. He's down a lap now, but he can contest the sprint. And this stage, same with Matty Jackson there and Brad Linfield, a little off the back mat. Brad Linfield lost a little bit of his distance that time. Now down, down the back straight, oh, through the change. Cameron Meyer leading the sprint. Nathan Lyons, high hang on the wheel no matter what he does. Matty Jackson into third wheel there. Brad Linfield's gonna take fourth. Now, this is lucky for Linfield. Cameron Meyer's gonna look for his partner, but he's a long way down the back straight. Very dangerous from Nick Graham Dawson there, staying low, right in the way of a sprint, and that's probably worth an official warning to him for that, because when the riders are sprinting on points, they have priority of the track, and from there you've got to be dropping down. So a bit of education there along the way. So all interest, Matt, this final sprint, Cameron Meyer, Theo Yates, and but a great job from the youngsters too, Matty Jackson and Jai Henley to stay with them once they went down that lap. Great ride here by the two waste men as they go through Theo Yates and Travis Meyer now. We've talked about the importance of where you do change. We've talked about the importance of being in the right spot on the track for your partner. This comes into play for this last sprint. Who's going to be the, who's going to be the riders in? I would say smart money would be on Cameron Meyer and Theo Yates to be the ones going in for the sprint. Down the back straight now, we've got Jai Henley, Travis Meyer, Trent Derricourt. Theo Yates trying to get the legs just a little bit looser there. Now, here's the change from the Meyer boys. The gap opening a little bit. Cameron Meyer having a look under the shoulder there, seeing what's going on. Jai Henley, Trent Derricourt, now the change. Linfield's in, they're going to come through this time with about five or six laps left to run. Yep, five laps to go. Who's enjoying the Madison out there, ladies and gentlemen? Great to have a long Yellen Homers, one more sprint, and all these riders are contesting the points. However, the race went up the road with Brad Linfield and Theo Yates as the waste team riding against the Garmin uh, Cervelo team of Cameron and Travis Meyer. So this stage, all interest will be on overall points as the changes go. Good to see Blake Smith there and Tim Seller survive well. The youngsters have done a fantastic job, their first ever Madison. Stephen Hall has not got down a lap yet with Brad Robson. So they're going to miss the points, Matt, but they're going to stay on the same laps, I think. Three laps to go. Nick Graham Dawson, Theo Yates. Bit of work to do for the Meyer team here. Now we look around the track. Nick Graham Dawson looking for his teammate Trent Derricourt. The AAs will be looking for a strong lead here. Cameron Myers in good position as he goes around past the 200 metre mark. Where's Brad Linfield? Brad Linfield's on the other side of the track. Now Stephen Hall, where is he? Still not down a lap yet. Coming into the sprint this time, so it looks like Theo Yates has got all the work, his partner's not set up for the sprint. So at this stage, the change works for Cameron Meyer. Theo Yates going to the front though. Can he hold him off? Meyer, the world champion, right in behind. Trent Derricourt in behind him. Here they come through this time. Yates fighting with Meyer. Yates fighting on. What a ride from Theo Yates. Big run to the line, gets the win. Cameron Meyer second in the final sprint.
Trent Derricourt third, and over the line, Blacksmith and Joy Henley, Nathan Lyons. Matty, that's exciting. And give these guys who stayed on the same lap, Brad Robson, Stephen Hall, a big hand. And we'll tally their points out shortly, but how about a big hand to all our riders in the Madison Cup?